Hey guys, welcome back to Medicine by Chips. In this video, I am going to tell you about deep tendon reflexes. Deep tendon reflex is used to evaluate lower motor neurons. In this procedure, I will strike hammer on different tendons like for biceps jerk, I will perform my procedure by striking the hammer on biceps jerk. For triceps jerk, I will strike on triceps tendon. For supinator jerk, I will strike brachioradialis jerk, brachioradialis tendon. For knee jerk, I will strike on patellar tendon. For ankle jerk, I will strike on Achilles tendon and at last finger jerk. The root values of different jerks are written like biceps jerk has C5 and C6, triceps jerk has C7 and C8, supinator jerk has C5 and C6, knee jerk has L3 and L4, ankle jerk has S1 and S2, finger jerk has C8. You have to remember these values. Got it? So further we move on. We will perform different reflexes on subject. First of all, take consent, explain the procedure to the subject and then we will continue. Let's start our procedure. For procedure, we have to take hammer. This is the hammer. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about how to hold this hammer. This is the ideal way how to hold it. Like this and this. Don't hold like this or this. Don't strike like this. Uh, this creates very false impression on the examiner. So let's move and perform our practical. First take consent and explain the procedure to the subject. Let's start. Uh, for biceps jerk, I'll strike on biceps tendon and the muscle will show brisk contraction and deflection of the elbow. Uh, this is biceps muscle, this is this is biceps tendon. I'll put my forefinger on it, I'll strike and the muscle will show brisk contraction and deflection of the elbow. Next, uh, I'll perform triceps jerk. For triceps jerk, I'll strike on triceps tendon and the muscle will show extension of the elbow. This is triceps muscle and this is triceps tendon. I'll strike and the extension of the forearm will show that the reflex is intact. <clears throat> Let's move to another jerk, supinator jerk. For supinator jerk, I'll strike on brachioradialis tendon and the flexion of the elbow shows that the muscle is intact and the reflex is also intact. This is our radius bone. From radius bone 2 to 3 cm, this is brachioradialis tendon. I'll put my fingers on it and strike and the muscle will show the contraction and the flexion of the elbow. Let's move to another jerk, knee jerk. For knee jerk, I'll strike on patellar tendon. <clears throat> Grip the leg of the subject like this. This is patella bone and this is patellar tendon. I'll strike and the extension of the leg shows that the muscle is intact. So let's move to another jerk that is finger jerk. For finger jerk, root value is C8. I already told you. For finger, for finger jerk, ask the subject to extend the fingers like this. I'll hold the distal ends of the finger. I'll strike the hammer and the flexion of the finger shows that the reflex is intact. Uh, in last, I'll perform the ankle jerk. For ankle jerk, ask the subject to place one leg on another leg like this. Uh, this is Achilles tendon. Uh, hold the foot like this. 
and by striking the Achilles tendon, the plantar flexion will result and the reflex is intact. So this is all about deep tendon reflexes. Hope you guys got it.